This isn't reckless engineering. It's a calculated strategy. SpaceX's Starship just exploded for the third consecutive time. And while most people see failure, what we actually witnessed is the fastest iteration cycle in aerospace history. Each of these explosions wasn't just a setback. It was a $100 million data collection event. While traditional aerospace companies spend decades in the design phase trying to predict every failure mode, SpaceX deliberately builds prototypes knowing they're going to explode. The engineering philosophy is radical. Fail fast, fail cheap, and learn everything. Take this recent explosion during re-entry. Instead of seeing it as a catastrophic failure, SpaceX engineers immediately analyzed the telemetry data showing exactly how the heat shield performed, where the structural limits were breached, and which system failed first. This real-world stress testing would be impossible to simulate accurately here on Earth. The conventional approach would involve five more years of computer modeling and wind tunnel testing. SpaceX's approach? Build the next prototype incorporating lessons from the explosion and launch again in months, not years. They're essentially treating rocket development like software development, rapid prototyping, continuous integration, and learning from production failures. Every explosion brings them that much closer to understanding the exact failure envelope of a system designed to carry humans to Mars. Traditional aerospace moves slowly because failure means congressional hearings. SpaceX moves fast because failure means Friday's data review becomes Monday's design improvement. Now, they are starting to get increased scrutiny from like the FAA, for example. But the question isn't, will it work? It's how this manufacturing and testing philosophy will reshape not just spaceflight, but engineering culture across other industries. Do you agree? Disagree? Sound off below.